Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, you know, a good friend of mine, Ron, asked me to uh, do a video uh, about some of my experiences as a football player. Um, some of you guys, some of you may or may not know, uh, but uh, <clears throat> I received a full ride scholarship at uh, Georgia State University. Uh, before actually going there, I had to go to uh, junior college. Um, so I did two years at a junior college, uh, graduated from that junior college, and then uh, ended up at uh, Georgia State University, where I played two years there. Uh, had a great college career, um, and uh, ended up getting drafted into the NFL. Uh, I went into the sixth round, 189th pick for the Oakland Raiders. Uh, spent a few years with a few teams, such as Oakland, uh, Cincinnati, Baltimore. Those are the teams that that I, you know, was on the field and, and had some playing time and, and had the most uh, had the most experience with. Um, it definitely is a journey to get there. Uh, it's no, you can't just waltz into a team, uh, whether it's college or pro. It's a lot of hard work that's put in, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of dedication. Uh, but I think the biggest thing uh, for me and, and, this, and my success in football was uh, the fact that I wasn't afraid to fail. Um, and if you have that in you, uh, you'll be able to accomplish a lot of things. And that's something that I realized, you know, as I was going from different schools uh, to different teams, um, that I just wasn't afraid to fail. That's, that's one of the biggest, uh, biggest factor that is allowing me even today now in the world of business um, that I am in, in real estate um, that I just I don't have that fear uh, and once you don't possess that fear you'd be surprised how you can how many things you can do in your life um, so that's one of the biggest main points I want to say to all you kids that are looking to you know get to the next level is go 100% don't be afraid to fail You'll never, you never lose, you only learn. And I guarantee you, if you take this model, you'll be able to reach the success that you wanna reach. Um, obviously, I've known uh, Ashton uh, as we went to the same high school. He was a, a few years younger than I was. I obviously knew how talented of a football player he is because I remember his brother also, older brother, Brandon, uh, talented football player when I was growing up because he was a few years older. Um, and it's obviously tragic uh, what had happened to Ashton, um, but obviously this has um, united us, you know, as a community, uh, especially in the in the football community. Now in the black community as well too, um, it's it's been able to unite us, and it's been able to allow us to see, you know, the bigger picture. Um, and the bigger picture uh, to me uh, is being able to have a great great relationships uh, friendship and, uh, and and family you know and just to be able to stay stay together you know obviously everybody is going through tough times uh, we've seen obviously two pandemics now um, happening in the last few months um, and this is a real teach tape for, for all of us uh, to understand that you know we need to stay united and we need to continue on moving forward and seeing the future um, and make sure that everyone has a future as well too. So hope this video uh, helps all of you that are gonna watch this video. Um, and uh, like I said, stay at it, you know, continue on working hard. Um, there is no magic formula to success. Um, it's, it's sure willpower and, uh, and and wanting to and wanting to succeed as bad as I, as everyone else, and I'm just saying this just through my experience. So hope everyone's doing well. Um, everybody has a great day, and uh, to Ashen's family, um, obviously, God bless you, uh, and hopefully, everything that you guys are doing now is going to serve to a bigger purpose uh, in the future. Take care, guys. This is your boy, Christo Bilukidi. Again, Ron, appreciate you for the shout-out.